So over here you can see that I have a project and if I were to save this project right here, then what happens is that it actually gets saved onto the default location. If I want to make an instance that is a copy of the project file so that I can make a few more changes, then what I can simply do is I can go to file, then I can go to save project as, then I'm just going to go to my desktop and save it right there. So what it is actually doing is that it's creating a copy of the project that we are working with. So we have a second version of the same project. So when you're actually saving a project file, what is happening is that it is not actually saving the video. So uh, it is actually just uh, storing out the information of the video. So the file size is quite less. So if you were to actually copy this and take it into another computer or if you were to share it through mail, then you're not sending the video files. And then what will happen is that uh, they won't be able to see the video file. But if you and also if you were to just copy uh, this file right here, then you won't be able to edit it out in another PC. So if you want to actually export your entire project and work in another PC or send it to others, then what you have to do is you have to archive the project. And to do that, you go to file right here. And then over here, you can see archive project is an option as well. So once you click on it, what happens is that you can go ahead. Uh, so I'm just going to go to desktop and then I'm just going to create a new folder right here. And inside this, I'm just going to save the archiving project. So what it does is it copies out all the files now in this particular uh, project file, as you can see. So if I were to go around into properties, you can see that it's 207 MB. That means like uh, uh, now over here in this project, all the video files are archived in. So it's uh, um, uh, embedded inside of this file itself. And that is why it is 207 MB, including all the video files. So if you want to send out the file to others or you want to simply uh, work with uh, editing in another computer, then you might want to archive the file and then not just save the project file. If you were to actually work out with the save project file, you need to copy out all the video files uh, itself onto another computer as well. And to make it easier to transfer, what you can also do is save all the video project file in a single folder and make sure that they are not uh, uh, distributed across your entire computer. But even if your video files are distributed, you can simply archive the file and then continue working with it. And that is how you can save uh, the project, use the save project as feature to create another instance of the project and archive the project so that uh, you can go around and transfer it into another computer and work. So hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.